Hello dear friends. This here video is dedicated to my friend Tammy Wolf. Tammy sent me a care package. I love it. I haven't really looked in it. I have looked sort of in it. And I, the, my sort of looking in it knows that I love it so much. So now we're going to look through it now to see what's really in there. And um, so let's see. I'll put this little camera down here like this way. Because that's where I'm going to put things as they come out of this box. This is paper packaging paper. I'm not ironing it. Yeah. Okay. And this. Oh, this is not paper pack. Oh, yes, it is paper packaging paper. Look at this. Look at this cute little ornament. It's a it's a um a unicorn ornament. I love this. How beautiful is that? So sparkly and so beautiful. I want to hang that. That's going to hang right here in my area somewhere. So that is going to I think I'll put a tack up on that shelf there and that's where that will hang. Look at this. This is like a desk thing that you can put on the desk, which I will have on my desk in the other room where I do most of my like office-y kind of stuff. So look at there. It says, be right back chasing unicorns, or I can put it in the unicorn mode, or I can put busy being in a unicorn, being a unicorn. And this, they are cut out. So inside here, I could put one of those, you know, the little fake candles that you just has a little light. And so I could put that inside there and that would light up. And I think it's adorable. And then I can actually even then use like maybe some stickers or something to put on here of unicorn things to even liven it up a little bit more. Not that it's not lively just like it is, but I could do that. Ooh. A card. I guess I should have looked at the card first. See there how there is a sticker of a unicorn. A unicorn sticker and and a little card. Oh, and look at there. There is unicorns. Oh, there's already unicorns. See, now I'd have to, I don't know if I'd be able to put these ones on because I couldn't have it to wear they stick over because it, but I can use these because now one of my chapters in my new journal that I'm making out of the weekend crafts three ring binder one of the um, chapters is all going to be is all about unicorns so these unicorns oh look at this one oh my gosh that one is so cute so these unicorns are going to go in for that chapter hope this finds you doing good here's a few things to use in your crafting and slow stitching enjoy crafting your friend love tammy wolf thank you so much tammy this is this is beautiful and this is see this is going to be awesome in my my little chapter that is just for because it's my chapter journal it is I, I'm going to really love doing this because I'm already collecting for the separate chapters. Okay, let's see. Now, ooh, these. This is amazing because so many people have gotten these from the Dollar Tree. They say we get them at the Dollar Tree. But I don't go to the Dollar Tree often, but when I go, I always look for these little things. And these are these are good for a lot of things, but best for me is to put little bits of paint in there for when I want to do dot painting. And so, because then you can just hold it, a little bit of paint and your little dotting tool, and that works perfect for them. So I appreciate them. Thank you so much. And these, oh, these are unicorn things too. These are the magnetic paper clips. Well, let me just go put that in this envelope because that envelope is going to go into that page, into that. Oh, how cute. Oh, look at this puzzle. 
my granddaughter and I love to do puzzles and this is pretty perfect 48 pieces and we're going to work this puzzle together oh see here you can see the whole thing right there is that beautiful or what that is beautiful so what I do is we usually put them together a couple of two three times and then we glue them together they're just so much fun and 48 pieces is perfect for me <laughs> And my little Aria. That is perfect. Oh, I love these. I have one similar to this, but it's not a hard cover like this. This is amazing. And look, look at that image on this book. Look how many pages is in there. Spiral notepad. This one is going to go by my... um. This one is going to go by my lazy chair because I need a little notepad just right by my lazy chair. Because, you know, what happens to me now in this aging process is I think, okay, I got to mention to my daughter this or that or the other when I see her. But then when I see her, I think, oh, I meant to tell you something and now I can't remember. And so that, this is going to be my memory book that is going to sit by my lazy chair. This will be perfect there. Look, I could even stand it up like this. Well, maybe not. But that's what this is going to be. So pretty. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. And, ooh, what are these? <gasps> the, are these ribbons? <gasps> it is rib. This is ribbons. And these ones are like Easter, or they're spring. That's what they are. It says spring. And so this one is mainly Easter, three different widths of ribbon. Oh, and there's three feet of each one, a yard of each ribbon. And this one's St. Patrick's Day. And I love the pickup truck. See, that one's got a pickup truck too, with an egg in the back. And this is a pickup truck with, with, um, shamrocks oh these are so cute that's got the rainbows and the unicorn i'll be darned i've never seen a shamrock unicorn that is so cute and here is oh that one's an easter too and look at the little chickies and see these i don't never say well i gotta wait for easter to use these i can use these anytime i want if christmas is here and i want to use that ribbon i'm going to use that ribbon because i can't and look at this one this is mardi gras i love the colors of mardi gras i just love the colors of mardi gras i think they're just beautiful this is a lot of ribbon thank you so much tammy Tammy, thank you so much for that. Oh, my word. Now, what? Oh, I wonder if these are what I think they are. Dollar peel and stick decorations. Walls, doors, furniture, window. Okay, these. Well, I'm different than a lot of people. My, I have already got some beautiful larger stickers like this on my cupboard doors in the kitchen because my cupboard doors are just plain white flat just plain white flat and look at this with the castles the unicorns and i have a unicorn on my refrigerator that i got from the dollar tree years ago but it's been there all that time these are going to go on my um on my cupboard doors easy on easy off see so it's not like they're going to be there for life i can pull them off if i want to that is a lot of stickers on there thank you i'm going to have those up well i probably won't do it tonight because it's a little late and so um so um i will probably put them up tomorrow okay what is this oh what is this oh my word <gasps> Look at this. Expecting. Oh my word. I have 
two babies coming into my family. I have my, my daughter-in-law and son are having a baby and that's coming in the first part of July. And then my, my um, granddaughter-in-law is going to have a birthday, a, a baby around the first part of October or maybe a little earlier than that. She's, she's having the um, gestational diabetes and, and so sometimes when that happens, they come a little early. So, oh wait, okay now, oh my gosh, these are all the, oh for adorable, look at this now. Oh, I will be able, I'm going to make their little cards with these. Oh, is this ever adorable. Let me see, is all the pieces there? If not, I, oh yes. Here's the dress for this one. Oh my word. And then they have, well, I'll have to um, figure out the hair and stuff. I'll have to, I'll have to play with these because see there's each one. Oh, I guess I have to look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to look at this and put them together. Because then that would be the note. So you can go this way. And these is ears and the two eyes. But you can put the hair there. And then it's the nose. Oh, is this ever cute. I am going to. This is going to make their, um, their cards for the baby shower. Oh, this is cute. Thank you, Tammy. This is, And there's two of them. There is two. And I have two pregnant girls in my in my family that are two girls that are in the family way that's what we used to say days ago we are in the family way not in the way of the family but in the family way look at all these pieces this is amazing oh this is awesome right here so in fact I might do the cards on a video this is so cute I may do make the cards on a video and I'll add more to them than even what's in there to make them very special. And then, oh, here, paper dolls. Oh, for fun now. <gasps> Look at that. These are cute. And I have a paper doll album. A journal that is just all paper dolls look at these how cute are those ladies love these envelopes are all um, are these paper dolls too oh these are butterflies oh and look at layered butterflies Tammy you really went to some trouble well maybe not trouble but you really took some time and put these together and they're all layered and they're all beautiful and look at all them butterflies i love them now see these butterflies may absolutely go with the um you know embellishments on those cards and i love these envelopes i may make the cards as the same size of these envelopes so that so that they will um so I can use the envelopes. I very well may do that. And this one must have something else. And this one. Oh, I saw these. I saw these somewhere else. The, um, see, I have the Umbrella Man by Tim Holtz. I don't know if this is by Tim Holtz, but I saw somebody else had that and I, I loved it. I loved this. And look, she sent me all of these. And I love that they're in black because, oh, and look at this. And then here, look at that. Then there is a couple with the umbrella. This is a, a lady and her kitty cat. And these are, these are a loving couple with their umbrellas. This is beautiful. 
This is just beautiful. And look at that. Purple unicorns. Purple unicorns. Look. Oh, I'm going to tangle them up here. I just want to get one. Look at that. Is that beautiful? That's a beautiful dye. Oh, my. Or a dye cut. I'm assuming that you have the dye. Oh, that was the butterflies. Okay. Let me put that there. And then these. Oh, I love these with the umbrellas. But then I guess I just love umbrellas. But I saw that one with the kitty. The lady with the kitty. On somebody's channel one day. And I thought, oh my gosh, I loved it with that umbrella. Okay, so let's put these here. Now. And then, he, oh, here's something. Oh, and there's, this is an envelope. That is... Oh my word! This is the die for the Umbrella Man in miniature. Because the one I have is like double this size. This is a small one. Oh, Tammy. This is amazing. I never even knew there was a small one. I love that. And then look at there. She's got this envelope embossed as well. Do you see this envelope? I don't know if I showed you how beautifully that these three envelopes are embossed. I want to use them with it when I make the card. And here, oh, these are some ladies. Oh, look how pretty. Beautiful ladies from years ago. They got their high heel shoes on. Oh, and look at this one. Her flowery dress and her hat to match. Shoes match. Oh, that's beautiful. These are beautiful. My vintage ladies. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. I can die cut some of these too to be putting in, in happy mails. Let me see. I don't want to put that inside that envelope. And then I'm going to clip that too that little pocket so that doesn't slip my mind. Oh, fat quarters. I am a fat quarter lunatic. I seen this fabric and thought you could make you and your granddaughter matching dress for your Barbie dolls. Oh, I could. I very well could. I just bought some Barbie doll clothes at the Dollar Tree. They had some clothes at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And so I bought three outfits. But a dress, a long formal dress with this fabric would be perfect. And she's got me two fat quarters there. I just love fat quarters. It's just enough fabric to make like... um to make like if I wanted to make a mask or like she said a Barbie doll dress for oh my gosh I love it thank you I just love fat quarters because you can get you don't usually even need for the things like if you're doing slow stitching usually a fat quarter is enough so and and um and um Walmart, I didn't, I haven't been to Walmart, but my, um, in years, but my daughter was there, um, like a week or so ago, and I told her, I said, check on the fat quarters and see if they've got any. Well, then she called me from the store and videoed, we were on video chat, and she showed me all the fat quarters they have, and so they must be a real common thing these days, because there was so many there and so then for mother's day too so she got me some that day i think she got me 10 fat quarters that day but then for mother's day she had gotten me i think four more fat quarters now i have these ones and i just love the fat quarters it's just you know, and the thing is I've been saving the little cardboards that are in because there's a little cardboard this size in them and I've been saving them cardboards and they're going to be awesome too. Ooh, I'm dropping things on my keyboard. And, oh, look at these. Oh, look at these. 
Do you see the gold bird up and then the white, the white greenery, the white flowers and the gold birds? Those are beautiful. And then these ones are smaller. These don't have the gold birds, but they do. Oh, I wonder, do these fit in here? Hmm, this, these may work out on the cards. When I make the cards, if I put, if I make the card this size, but use this as a mat, put the pregnant lady, oh my word, that would be awesome. So I can't fold this because the birds go that way, but see, that can be something else. That's beautiful. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, what? <gasps> Look at this fabric. This is probably more than a fat quarter. Look at those vehicles. There's the truck. There's the front of the truck. Oh my gosh. Is it, and I love that they are separate. They're not overlapping. That makes you be able to fussy cut this out. I can fussy cut this out and you can see how like the tires are like a gray. I could go over that with fabric paint and make them black if I want to. I can add stuff in the back of the truck if I want to. Oh, there's the back. There's the truck from the back. Actually, it looks like a Studebaker. I mean a car. Oh, they're different trucks because this one's got the wood panels on it. So they're different. These are gorgeous. Yeah, this one here is a car. The back end of a car. This one's a back end of a car. Probably that same one. This is beautiful. Look at these. This is gorgeous. Thank you, Tammy. Oh my gosh. I sent Tammy a little package too. Mine. Mine's nothing compared to this. Oh, and look at this. Fuzzy stickers. So this is a sticker made out of... Okay, I don't know if that'll go on a slow stitch project. No, it's probably going to go in this same... The same um, um, chapter journal that I'm making. The chapter journal is going to... On that unicorn... Pay a unicorn chapter. Oh, and here is another envelope that has been embossed. Or another. Uh, oh my! This look. That is a ATC card, and look, she's. Oh, that is really nice. That she's got it. Um, looks like she went with a stencil and maybe some of that texture paste maybe a bumblebee and she writes be happy and the flowers that's beautiful be happy and oh that's number three of nine she made nine of these oh thank you for that that's going in my album and oh jokers my joker collection is growing but look at the images on them i love this and what I want to do with some of my jokers, because with some of my cards, because the images are so beautiful, I want to um, put them on my scanner and scan these images like this. And these two would definitely need to be scanned, especially this one. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. That's amazing. And oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. Under the street lamp. You know, this is sharing the love. Because it's love. Everything you see. Just everything. Like these. Oh, and these are. Oh, there's hearts inside of there. And then here I have some more of the little boy and little girl underneath the street lamp. So I can make some more of these. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. Oops, let me get these in here right so that I don't get them wrinkled. Oh, these are just beautiful. 
Okay, now, just beautiful. And then, let's see. Oh, oh I think this is, is napkins? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute here. This, oh, this is, no, this is not a napkin. This is a piece. Oh, you know what this is? I think this is a piece from a, from a um, wallpaper border. That is really pretty. This will most likely go in that same book I was talking about, but then I have one chapter that is on gardening, flowers, and, you know, that kind of thing. So that'll probably go there. Oh, look at the red hat ladies. Oh, girls' night out. This is cute. And here's the red hat ladies, a little bit bigger. Oh, my gosh, I love that. That is so cute. And this is... Is this coffee? Oh, no, wine. Zinfandel, Pignon. Yeah, I don't know how to say those things. Cabernet, Cabernet Pignon Noir. So this is wines. Beautiful. Be oh, what is this? <gasps> a frog. Look at the frog. And it's a razzle. Oh, it's sequins. Place garment on hard, firm, heat-resistant surface such as an ironing board or countertop. Smooth out all the wrinkles. Preheat iron to polyester setting. Turn off steam. So I can put this on a piece of fabric. And then I can slow stitch. <coughs> like if I take an 8 by 8 piece <coughs> and then iron that on. And then start slow stitching. Gosh, you can't hardly see, but there is little, these are like tiniest little sequins, but there's some in the eyes, some in the little mouth. There's two different colors of green, and then it's pink cheeks. This is gorgeous, and that is going to make an awesome slow stitch project. And here is, ooh, how pretty is this napkin? These are beautiful napkins. I have not worked with napkins for a while. But looking at this, that's beautiful. I want to work with this. Oh, and this is not a napkin. Maybe it is a napkin. I was going to say maybe it's a placemat. No, I think it's a napkin. But it's got the chickens on it, the baby chicks, the flowers, and the scalloped edge. This is very special. This is very special, this napkin. Family and friends and fireworks. So that would be the 4th of July. And one of, one of my chapters is just about holidays. Different, oh no, I put seasons. It's, it's called seasons. And so this will go well in that, oh my gosh, look. In that section, and here's a recipe for apple dumplings. Granny Smith apples, crescent rolls, butter, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and a can of Mountain Dew? Oh my gosh! Peel and core apples. Cut each apple into eight slices. Roll each apple slice in a crescent roll. Place in a, 13, a 9 by 13 buttered pan. Melt the butter, then add sugar and barely stir add vanilla stir and pour entire mixture over apples pour mountain dew around the edges of the pan sprinkle with cinnamon and bake at 350 degrees for 40 minutes serve with ice cream and spoon and spoon some of the sweet sauces from the pan over the top warning prepare this dish at your own risk it is beyond imaginable Wow, have you ever, you know what, I need to write that recipe in the, in, in the, in the, um, description box below. If I forget to do that, remind me, and then I can always go back and do that. Mulberries, I'm not my way, magnolia blossoms. We have magnolia blossoms, um, blossoming right now in our magnolia tree. My word, they smell so 
well, they are beautiful, and they smell so wonderful. It's like somebody is out in my yard with a can of air freshener just spraying. And look at this, how pretty that is. Oh, this one, I bet this has pulled off of this one, and it's got the lighter shade of the same image as that one. And here is my teddy bears. <gasps> how cute. Are those cute teddy bears? Look at them. They are so cute. I just love teddy bears. I used to collect them. I still have a bunch, but I don't collect anymore because I don't have space for them anymore. Now this is labels off 100% whole grain Kodiak cakes. We donate part of every purchase to foundations that protect grizzly bear habitats around the country. Oh, isn't that interesting? Now that'll be fun to use in a scrap journal. And here is, look, Happy Easter. Now there's a Happy Easter um, ATC card made by Tammy Wolf. That's beautiful. Gosh, it's got all that glitter on the back. Now here you go. Got the tickets. <gasps> look at this ticket. She put the dachshund on that there ticket. That's my two little dachshunds right there. My little doxies are getting so old. They think they're retired now. They don't hardly even bark anymore. They, they used to be to where you couldn't hash them up, you know. But now, you, they, they don't hardly even bark. And both of them is just about blind. They can still see that. Well, they do know what C-H-E-E-S-E -E -E is. I can't say the word or they think I'm going to run to the refrigerator and get them a piece. But um, what is this? Oh, my God. Thankful Heart Angel Ornament with Photo Frame Gift Card. Oh, Tammy. This. Oh, my gosh. This is a card. Remove protective plastic cover before gifting. Photo frame to remove angel ornament. Slide inner card out. From the slot at the top, add four by six photo into the bottom slot, slide it back into place. So I can, if I want to, oh, that is beautiful. It says, Dear World, thank you for your smaller, your smallest of moments that bring the greatest of joy. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for that. Is that made by Hallmark? No, Kelly Ray Roberts. My God, this card was originally $8.99. I hope you didn't pay that for this card. This is beautiful. Breathe, breathe in the beauty, take it all in, trust the abundance, find the sacred in the ordinary, and celebrate life's tiniest joyful moments. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. I love that. That's amazing. Oh, this is a this is a treasure chest. This box of things. A real treasure chest. Thank you so much. And then in here. And now look here. We have fabrics. We have, looks like these are two inch strips or two and a half inch strips. Yep, two and a half inch strips. There's a Christmassy one. Are they all Christmassy? Maybe they are. Look at that one. How pretty is that with this Christmas lights? Yes, and Holly. And then look at the Christmassy, uh, uh, oh, what do you call that? The um, Volkswagen bus with a tree on the top. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for these fabrics. Look at that. And then there's the little tr travel trailer right there. And then here is the um, spruce tree with the um, pine cones. Oh, oh, and then here we go with fall. These are fall. Happy fall, y'all. So, in my seasons, these 
part of these will go into my seasons journal and um, a chapter of my journal. Look at that, how pretty that is. My word, thank you. So now I got to fold them up nice again. I won't do that right this second though because there's still. Oh my gosh, what is it? The work basket Ooh. sewing workbook. Planning tips and ideas for the passionist sewist. This here, I don't know. Do they still make the work basket magazine? I don't know. Let's see. This one here, if there's a, if there is, oh my gosh. At their kitchen table in October 1935, Clara Tilliston and her husband, John, created the first eight-page service bulletin that eventually turned into the work basket. So that's when that started. It was 1935. Okay, this one here. Oh, wait a minute. It's now here. This one says April 1951 e issue of the work basket. And look at those dresses. Oh, my God. These make me think of my mom. She would wear dresses. Make and then wear dresses like that. Oh, this, and that was from 1964, February. Oh, my goodness, this is, oh, this will be fun to go through. And this is like a journal. This is a journal to keep track of my design. Look at this. It, scraps of, um, just swatches of fabric here, and you can write down the da date, the source, the yardage, and the cost. Salvage sewing kits. Oh, this is interesting. Apron with a built-in towel. I have one of those with a built-in towel right in the apron. But I love aprons. I just think aprons are awesome. And there's another place for... Oh, and then here's basic sewing skills. And the running stitch, back stitch, overcasting stitch. Hand basting, machine basting, pin basting, pressing seams. Oh, there is a bunch in here. Project checklist. Needle pointers. You know, I don't know. Now I'm thinking that will I take this book apart and use use oh use these pages i might do that tammy i might use it for parts facings various kinds of edge finishing oh my this this is fun. This is, this is amazing. And so these are all things that came out of the original, because this one here says, these are, this, this information came from October 1951 and March of 1950. So these all have, um, this has a lot of different, different, um, pages that come from different editions of the Work Basket magazine. Okay, but it doesn't say actually when this particular book was made. Just, it gives you dates from, and it's all sewn together with the stitches. This is neat. This is neat. So I, I don't know if I will cut this apart and use it in my sewing journal or not. Well, it does have a um, scan code on it, so... It, it's not real, real old, but this is amazing. Okay, you'll be inside the work basket sewing workbook. 
you'll be treated to the illustrations and content of the Work Basket magazine from its coolest years, the 1940s through the 1960s. During this time, the magazine featured fabulous illustrations of women in dresses, as well as inspirational women who make sense, stories, sense, C-E-N-T-S, of great sewing content. The best of this material, as well as worksheets and charts, are here to help you track your sewing projects and inspire you to get sewing. This is awesome. So, I don't know. I might have to take it apart and use some of these pages. Maybe copy some of these pages for, you know, for my own work, use, you know. Um, but like a page like this would be perfect in the book. I don't know if I would actually um, keep up with a journal like this but I would absolutely so I hope you don't mind if I do take it apart because I may do that thank you so much so very much Tammy and um oh the package I sent you wasn't near this full of beauty this is beautiful I love these die cuts are amazing this fabric it's amazing I'm gonna put that with these I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this piece of fabric in with this piece of fabric this is just beautiful and then then these oh I don't know where I put them okay but anyway I gotta put the I want my I want some oh my unicorny stuff. Yeah, I want to put that in. Oh, this is well anyway. I'll do that in a little bit. And I get all this together. This is so beautiful. Thank you. I I am over the hill excited and happy. And every bit of my love is in here with the fabrics, with the papers, those pregnant ladies. I'm amazed with that. And these cups for my dot painting. And I was just, because this is dot painting right here. This is, um, using the the dot painting this one here was made by martha uh, martha made this and sent it to me but apparently she went and bought the um unicorn wood and then she painted it all black and then did the dot painting but when you're painting the dot painting um it's so much easier if you hold the cup with that little bit of paint in and then put the dots where you want the dots and so I'm going to be doing that. I love this. My fabrics are to die for. I love the puzzle. The puzzle is amazing. These are going to go on my kitchen cabinet tomorrow. Oh, and this was my snack. I was having Greek yogurt. And mixed with the Greek yogurt, I have... Um, I have ground flax seed and chai seeds and then I put a little bit of unsweetened applesauce over it and that's my little snack I am really 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 trying hard to get my sugar levels down because I want to come off of insulin and and I want to see I go get blood work done again in in two months I get my blood work done again and I am my goal is to have have that my blood sugar down there's carbohydrates are not going in my body i mean there is a little you got to have a little bit of carbohydrates and but it's next to none see so and i don't mind that at all i don't know if the family enjoys that i'm eating this many beans but i've been eating navy beans and I, I buy the dry beans and then just cook them in my slow cooker. And then I have a cooker full of them to last me three or four days. And then I put some more beans in the slow cooker. And so, yeah, my family might not be enjoying the fact that I'm eating this many beans. But, and I always put my flax seed and my chai seed 
ground up into my beans and um and yeah that's oh i can eat eggs i eat eggs and then i eat oatmeal and i put that same stuff in my oatmeal i love these little fabrics these are beautiful well you probably don't want to hear about my nasty diet it's not it's really not bad though because once you set your mind to eating how to eat how you need to eat for your health once you send your mind to it it really is not bad it's not hard i'm not having a hard time at all i've only been doing it for about a week but i think i'm already used to it the first few days it was like i need sugar i just need sugar and i thought i wonder if it's this is what it's like coming off of like crack cocaine or something because it was like oh my god i need sugar i need sugar but um ouch but um but yeah, now I'm not having that so much. It's not, usually by this time of the night, it's like, I need sugar, I need sugar. But um, now I'm not having that anymore. There's ice cream in the freezer, and Papa eats the ice cream, and, and when he goes and gets him a bowl of ice cream, then he's fine. It's not bothering me, so that's good. And how come I'm talking about this kind of stuff? Because I'm glad that I'm doing it, I guess. I'm just glad, and I just, you guys are my friends, and your guys are my family, and so that's, and so anyway, I better read something right here from You Are Stronger Than You Know. Okay, let's open a page here that looks like it hasn't been opened for a while. So this one here says, keep faith in your heart. With faith, you can move a mountain, reach a star, and make it through the longest night. With faith... You can trust that everything has a reason and every life has a purpose. You can feel content with what you have and stay secure with yourself. With faith, you can look back on your most trying time and see it for the blessing it was and experience that led you where you were meant to go and help shape the person you were created to be with faith you can look for the bright side of any situation and always find it. And that was written by Paula Finn. And this is so true. What you can do with faith. And just believe. That's all you have to do is just believe. Well, I hope everybody had a fantastic Mother's Day yesterday. I mean, everybody. The children, the husbands, the moms, the dads, the aunts, the uncles. Because everybody has had a mother. And everybody knows a mother. And so, and mothers are what forms you. They form you. You can either take what they taught you or you can leave what they taught you. But mothers are you know you know where they uh, saying goes if mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy that's pretty doggone true and so we all know that so i hope everybody everyone had a mother's a wonderful mother's day and that does not mean you had to be having children you don't have to be a mother as far as giving birth to a child to enjoy Mother's Day. Mother's Day should be for fathers, aunts. Well, I already said that. But anyway, I ask God to watch over you every sip you take, every move you make, and bring you back here at the next video. And hopefully it won't be long. I know I've not been, been doing as many videos lately. Um, it's just no excuse. There's no excuse. It's just too many naps i don't know <laughs> but anyway i love you all and i ask god to watch over you every step you take every move you make and bring you back safe and sound and healthy to the next video god bless god bless and keep you all and i will turn this off and